Tonight we are reviewing this 600 peso miracle. Welcome to Russell Rice Reviews. We are not reviewing whiskey today. We are going back to audio gear and we are reviewing this DAC, this DAC from Apple. All right, so what is a DAC and why should you care? Well, you shouldn't really because DACs are things that we, you know, just take for granted. I mean, all phones have them, right? So uh, let me just, you know, define it first, all right? So the letters D, A, and C stand for digital, uh, digital to analog converter. What does a digital to analog converter do? So as the name suggests, it converts digital input to analog signal. Still with me, yeah. Still awake. All right. So, wh why do why do we need a, a DAC? All right. So, and why do phones have a DAC? So, you know that music is stored digitally, right? MP3s mostly, right? So, uh, music digital. Now your headphones can only process analog signals. Okay. So, between digital and analog, you have to have a DAC. A DAC in uh, in the middle okay and analog signals are well traditionally um, traditionally transmitted through the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack there so like what we said earlier all phones have a DAC right so before your headphones can produce sweet music so the digital signal has to go through uh, a DAC now in uh, in 2016 okay in a move that required courage apple removed the the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack from their phones so if you bought the iphone 7 the only headphone you can use or you can plug directly to the phone would be the headphones that came with the phone your old headphones would have to be connected to this, you know, if you want to use those, you know, your old headphones to listen to music. There. Uh, now, about this DAC, about this DAC, this is not just an adapter. Okay, so um, this is where the digital to analog converter is now. So in the past, Right in from the iPhone six six five four three two um, mo older models, the DAC the DAC was in the phone. Okay, now Apple put the DAC here. Okay, so this now is an external DAC. So it functions like an external DAC, and well, somebody actually put out. Uh, an x-ray of this and in the picture you can clearly see the clever engineering that Apple has done with this device here so what can I say uh, it sounds good I mean Apple obviously knows what they're doing with with audio the uh, well just Think of it this way the the iphone's great grandfather is the the ipod right so it's it's supposed to you know sound good so so apple knows their their stuff so generally the the sound that comes from this is warm okay what does that mean okay? so when you say something has a warm sound signature it means the bass is emphasized a bit making the sound laid back and not fatiguing and this is what um, you know most people like you know the kind of tuning that most people like now um, for most well at least for all the Apple devices I've uh, I've tried I think that's the tuning for most of their products they are well to my ears at least not neutral and you know that that's not a bad thing because it, it it certainly works for some kinds of music. I uh, I found my um, I found that for some music actually, like in the movie uh, Inception, okay. 
your your headphones are supposed to rumble to to vibrate with all the with all the bass in the mix and i remember first experiencing that when i listened to the soundtrack using an ipod touch uh, with the with the audio technica ath m50 so that was a that was a mind-blowing experience that, that that was in the beginning when i was first getting into the uh, high-res audio um, audiophile grade equipment there so that, that was a that was a great experience okay so so uh, why does apple tune their products to be a little bassy well the customer is always always right okay there that's the basis um i, I know that all the the karens of the world misuse that saying um the customer is always right applies to sales um it, it does not apply to one-on-one -on -one customer interactions take take apple for example why put out a product that sounds neutral when what the customers want you know what sells is or are products that have a bassy sound signature there so the customer is always right there that's what the that's what the public demands mostly there anyway um so you're in a dilemma okay you uh, you have a dilemma your your old headphones do not work with the lightning jack right so what do you do you can yeah you can buy uh, an external DAC that has a you know a 3.5 millimeter uh, out like this one although uh, I would suggest I would advise against that because first external DACs are pretty expensive okay? they the cost could reach easily reach 100 to 200 dollars right and this this is just six hundred dollars on Amazon nine dollars uh, no, 600 sorry 600 pesos okay nine dollars on Amazon and it serves its purpose well it sounds okay it sounds good I mean for for 600 bucks for 600 pesos there it's it's pretty good and yeah I just want to say there aren't many affordable options for external DACs for for phones that's that's why in the beginning I uh, I said that this here is a 600 peso miracle okay, so if you buy this you get to enjoy the uh, Apple sound that you like and you can keep using your old headphones so yeah generally it's a good product although okay it has its flaws okay now what I do not like about this is well actually the sound signature because um, while while the bassy sound signature is what a lot of people like, I personally prefer a more emphasized treble. I like my music to sound bright, to sound energetic, sparkly. There, that's why when I uh, when I listen to music on the iPhone, my EQ settings look like this. Okay, so Apple's a little bassy, right? So it's just flat there. And since the treble is dead for, for Apple devices, I elevated a bit. So my EQ settings look like that when I listen to music using the iPhone. Also, while the output from here okay, is generally okay for most audio gear, it loses to the LG G6 or no, L lg g and v series phones when you use a real headphone like the akg k712 it just the the apple DAC just can't make the k712 sing the way the my lg g6 makes it sing you know the the output is just better uh volume is greater there so the this DAC has trouble driving the K712 
there but for most um headphones the the what do you call those basic ones <laughs> there it, it should be okay they should be okay uh what else okay yeah i don't like the fact that i am unable to charge my phone while listening to music uh apparently apple was thinking charging while playing music who does that right now i know what you're thinking russell just use a bluetooth headphone you dolt sure yeah that's the obvious solution to the problem however uh how can i say this there are no good bluetooth headphones they don't exist okay um put down the pitchforks all right so so when i say there are no good bluetooth headphones i mean when i say good headphones i mean good headphones like like this <laughs> um there is no bluetooth headphone that can match the performance of the akg k712 no bluetooth headphone can do what the k712 can not yet i know in the future we're, we're going there you know we're in the future it, it'll all be bluetooth but right now the technology is immature still okay, so there um i think it would be nice if we could you know if we could still you know have the 3.5 millimeter um headphone jack as out so we could you know keep charging while we listen to music there but again you know overall it's a it's a great device a great uh, affordable external DAC. but okay while it's an outstanding piece of engineering let's not forget that we don't need this we don't need this uh, let, let's be honest the apple said apple said that the headphone jack was removed so they could give us a better phone but eh, i don't think the benefits are significant you know the, the benefits that you, we got from the removal of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is or are significant enough to offset or make up for the inconvenience <laughs> that um we we uh, are experiencing you know with with this um yeah i think apple got rid of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so they can sell us this there it's it's not innovation it's not courage sorry steve jobs but yeah i disagree uh there okay so uh as usual i don't know how to end these things so bye